Good morning everybody at Cross Flats Primary School. It's been a really long time now since I've seen you all and I really, really miss seeing everybody. Um, and you've been working so hard. Everybody's been working so hard, whether you are at Key Worker School here or whether you are working at home. And it's been almost six weeks now since um, you've been in school, lots of you, and you've been working so hard on Zoom that I thought this afternoon, let's put Zoom down, let's put the devices down and let's do something a little, a little bit different. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I've got this really gorgeous story and you might recognise um, this person. It's Humpty Dumpty and it's called After the Fall. I bet you learnt Humpty Dumpty in nursery when you were little. Humpty Dumpty After the Fall. How Humpty Dumpty got back up again. Hope you can see. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favourite spot, high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. So you look, he's at the King's Count Hospital. Fortunately, all the King's men managed to put me back together again. Can you see? Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Oh, poor Humpty Dumpty. So he's physically better but not all parts of him can be fixed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. He's frightened of heights because he's frightened of falling again. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favourite things. So you see, he's even too scared when he's shopping. Um, he's too scared to climb the ladder to get his favourite cereal because he's frightened in the supermarket of tumbling down the ladder again. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Can you see what the idea is? <gasps> Making paper planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. So you can see Humpty Dumpty just keeps going. He's trying to learn new skill and he doesn't just give up the first time. It's too tricky. He keeps going and going and going. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I felt I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. So he's found a talent of making paper planes. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Uh-oh. They always do. That's so true, isn't it? Accidents do happen to all of us. Oh no, the paper plane crashed. I almost walked away again because he's fed up. He's had enough. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. Look. There's the ladder and he's right at the bottom of the ladder. Can you see? 
He's at the bottom looking up at the top and he's decided he's going to do it. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified because he's so frightened of falling, but he's kept on going, he's kept on going. But on the inside, he's really scared, but he's doing it. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Can you see his hands grabbing each rung of the ladder? Just one step at a time. He isn't looking down. He isn't looking up. He's just keeping going. Until I was no longer afraid. So look, he's climbed all of those rungs one step at a time. And then he's reached the very top and he's conquered his fear. He isn't scared anymore. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Crack, crack. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Oh, can you see? He's got back up and learned how to fly. I love this book because it reminds me at the moment we're all sort of have been knocked down a little bit because of COVID and all the lockdowns we've had to put up with and all the restrictions, which means we haven't been able to do all the things that we would normally do in our lives. It feels like we've been knocked down a little bit like Humpty Dumpty. And some days are hard, aren't they? And you feel fed up and you don't want to get dressed because you think, what's the point? I aren't going anywhere. I miss my friends. I miss my family. And sometimes it's it's easier to be in a bit of a grump, isn't it? Than sort of think like Humpty Dumpty. No, I'm going to get back up and I'm not going to be beaten by this. I'm, I'm going to be positive and I'm going to, I'm going to get back up and I'm going to learn how to fly again. So I got thinking about this and I have made a bottle. And it's just a bottle of uh, water I had at my house. And I have put, I've decorated the bottle and it's got all sorts of words on it. So it says dream, hope, joy, happiness, believe. It's got all sorts of nice things. I've got some stars on it and some hearts on it. And it also says, "Miss." you might not be able to see it, but it says Mrs. Bennett's bottle of one day soon. Because we have to have hope, don't we? That one day soon, all the things that we love to do are going to return to us and we're going to be able to fly again, just like Humpty Dumpty. But before we can fly again, we've still got a, a, a little bit longer of, of having to live with what's called restrictions. So that means not being able to do everything that we want to do. And we've got two choices, haven't we? We can either be miserable and cross and angry about it or we can think about how we want to be every day. So what mood are we going to be in every day? Because we have a choice. We can choose to be grumpy or we can choose to be positive. So I thought I'm going to think for this week how I want to be all week. And I'm going to try really hard to be like Humpty Dumpty, really determined. So I'm going to open my bottle and I've thought about all the things I'm going to be this week. And I want you to do the same. So the first one I've written is patient because I can be really impatient um, and I want things done now and I want things done quickly. And sometimes I need to be more patient. So this week I'm going to put patient in my bottle. So in it goes, Whoop. in it goes. I'm also going to try really hard to be polite. And I mean using please and thank you. And I mean smiling at people. And if I'm feeling a bit fed up, not taking it out on somebody else, especially when you live in the house with the same people all the time, you might get a bit snappy with them. And that's not very nice, is it? So I'm going to try to be really polite to everybody in my house and at school when I'm at school um, this week. So in polite goes into my bottle. This one's really important. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to make a decision to be extra kind to everybody this week that I see. Um, so that might be 
just giving somebody a, a nod or a wink or giving somebody some eye contact or it might be that I offer to make the person I live with a cup of tea or I might bring him a little chocolate or I might um, make somebody um, a, a sandwich or something in school or I might just drop off a little a little smiley face to somebody at school just to cheer them up. So I'm going to be kind this week because I'm like going in my bottle as well. In it goes. This one's important. I'm going to listen more because sometimes I can, if I don't want to listen, I'll, I'll switch off and I won't listen to them and I need to be a better listener this week. So I'm going to do more listening this week to the people I, I, I can be near at the moment than I am talking. So, because sometimes I forget I've got two of these and one of these. So I'm definitely going to try harder to listen. And sometimes in my house, if I don't want to, I pretend I can't hear them and I can really. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try much harder to, to be a better listener this week. I'm going to try really hard to be positive. So if I feel a bit cheesed off, I'm going to try and tip that round in my head and I'm going to think of that ladder that Humpty Dumpty was determined to climb and I'm going to think, yeah, come on, come on, Mrs. Bennett, you can do it. Let's let's be positive in our mindset. So positive's going in my magic bottle. And it goes. This one's important. I'm going to be active because sometimes it's easy, isn't it, when you're feeling a bit fed up and you can't go anywhere and the weather's rubbish, just to sit there watching television. And sometimes that can make you feel worse in yourself. So I'm going to, even if I can't go outside, if it's raining or it's snowing or it's freezing, if I can't go for a walk, I'm going to do some exercises um, in my house. I might Google um, a, a video or I might just do dancing because I really like putting the music on really loud in my kitchen and having a dance and a boogie around my kitchen and it always puts me in a much better mood because when you exercise it releases these magic um, chemicals in your body and they're called endorphins and they're magic, they're magic, they make you feel better inside yourself so just by moving for 20 minutes a day that can really help um, flood your brain and your body with happy chemicals so active is really important as well in it goes i'm going to be hopeful so that means i'm going to think about and we're going to come to this in a minute all the things that i'm going to do when we're allowed to so really soon i'm going to hope for things to look so much brighter and better than they are at the moment not doom and gloom like oh we can't do anything i'm going to think about the future and all the fun things that i'm going to be able to do because that brings joy to my heart it makes me feel happier so i'm going to be hopeful i'm gonna put that in my bottle just like humpty dumpty i'm going to be determined so i'm not going to give up so if i try to do something and it goes wrong I'm going to start again and I'm going to keep going until I can do it. So I'm not a very good cook in my house. I tend to burn things and that's because I don't have a lot of patience. So I'm going to try this week really hard to be super patient with myself. And I'm determined that I'm going to cook. Every night I'm going to cook tea for the people I live with in my house. Um, and it'll be really nice food because I'm going to be determined that it is. So I'm going to put determined in there. And the last one I'm going to put in is resilient. And that's one of our core values at our school. And it's just like the story I just read to you after the fall. We all fall down because that's life. And I might mean physically falling down, falling off your bike or falling off your scooter or falling off your swing. And you've got two choices, haven't you? You can lay down on the floor and cry and, and never get back on your bike or never pick up your scooter. Or you think, do you know what? I'm going to get back on. But it isn't just the physical things we fall off. Sometimes we fall off um, things in our in in um, our lives as well. Just like we've all things have been tricky at the moment for all of us. Like we all know. Well, we've got to be resilient, haven't we? And we've got to think. Do you know what? It's not always going to be like this. So we can't give up. We've got to get back up. Come on, pick yourself up. Let's do this. So I'm going to try really hard. And it isn't easy. Some days you just think, oh, I don't want to be resilient today. I just want to give in. But what good's that going to do? What are you going to do? Sit in your bed where you do be over your head all day? Boring. So I'm going to be super resilient. So those are all the things 
in my magic bottle. They're all in there. Can you see them all rattling around? Those are all the things I am going to be this week. But do you remember I said I'm also going to be hopeful? And I've my, my on my bottle, it says Mrs. Bennett's bottle of one day soon. I've thought about all the things I'm going to do one day really soon that are going to make me super happy. So the first one that's going in my bottle is have everyone back at school all together. And I know that's going to happen one day soon. We're not always going to be separated. Half of us being in school and half of us working from home. That isn't going to be forever. So that's going in my one day soon bottle. I love planning exciting learning. It's, it's, it's my job. I am a leader of learning. That's what I do. I make sure that we do really exciting learning and trips and residentials. And we have wonderful summer exciting things happening. And I know those things are going to happen again one day soon. So plan exciting learning and in school, in person and not on devices. So that's going in my one day soon bottle. This one's exciting. Talk to all the children and adults who come to Cross Flats Primary School in person. So I know one day soon I'm going to get to talk to you. I'm going to get to talk to your families, whoever you live with. I'm going to get to talk to all the adults that work here. And I won't be doing it on a telephone. And I won't be doing it on Zoom. I'll be doing it with my eyes and my face. Because it's that's what we do, isn't it? We're people and we want to talk to each other in real life. So that's going in my one day soon bottle as well. Because I really miss seeing you all and chatting to you in person. Okay, shove that in. This one is a good one. Have a picnic with all of my family, just like you. I haven't seen some of my family for over a year. And I can't wait till one day soon, hopefully, um, maybe by um, spring or summer, I'll be able to meet my family somewhere and have all of them together. And we can have a lovely picnic outside together. So that's and I love having picnics. Go visit my nan and granddad. My nan and granddad are in their 80s. They're both 85. And because they've been um, what's called shielding, so they've been keeping themselves away from everybody to keep well, I haven't been able to see them in such a long time. So that's one of my priorities. And I bet some of you haven't seen people um, that you love and um, that you can't wait to see one day soon. So that's going in my bottle as well. Go see all of my friends and maybe have some of my friends around for tea. How cool will that be when I can have my friends around for tea? I haven't seen my friends in such a long time, just like you. Now, this one's a really good one. Visit Billy Bob's ice cream parlour. I bet some of you have been there and eat a giant hot dog and onion fries. I love their hot dogs and their onion fries. I just I just eat them all like a crazy person. And I can't wait till I'm allowed to go to Billy Bob's and have a special treat. Have ever ever you seen the big yellow bus and sat inside the big yellow bus? It's a really good play area, isn't there? This one I know lots of you want to do. Go on holiday. So I want to book some holidays. It might be in England this year, and that's cool. Um, but I would love to be able to book a holiday and actually go on the holiday. So that's going inside my bottle as well. Drive to the beach and collect some shells. So the beach nearest me is called Saltburn. And it's about an hour away from my house. And I can't wait to go for a really long walk and listen to the sound of the sea and the wind in my face from, um, from the sea and the beach and get to collect some shells and maybe build some sand castles. That's definitely happening one day soon. In it goes. Go to the hair salon. I bet your hair's getting a bit long. My hair's going in my eyes. It's driving me crazy. So I can't wait definitely one day soon to go to the hair salon. I'm going to put that in there. Visit. There's a toy shop where I live and it's on the local high street and there's some amazing toys and obviously it's been locked up for a long time and it's such a long time isn't it since we've been in real shops i don't mean the supermarket but real shops and i can't wait to go and it's a small shop so i don't want to necessarily buy everything from amazon i'm going to go in this small shop and i'm going to support this small shop and i'm going to buy a real toy from a real shop and it's going to be for my daughter bella and she's desperate for a tea set because she loves 
smacking pans and smacking things with spoons and I know she would love a tea set so I'm going to go to the shop in Knaresborough and buy a real tea set one day soon. So can you see, oh my goodness, what's happened? My bottle is now, can you see? It's full and it's full of things which give me hope and it's full of things which are going to make me happy. And this week, I'm going to keep this on my desk because I'm at school this week. And if there's some moments when I think, mm, this is really hard, I'm fed up, I'm going to look at my bottle and I'm going to remember about all the hope that I've put inside this bottle, all the things I want to be and all the things, all the happy things I'm going to do one day soon, which are going to make me really happy. So I want you to have a go this afternoon at making your own. So see if somebody in your house can help you find an, a, a pot bottle. You could tip it out. Make sure you speak to somebody. Go, don't go tipping things out before you've got permission. And then all I did, I was just sellotaped some. You could just write some nice things. You could draw some nice things. Anything you like, really. It's your bottle. You can sellotape them on, glue them on. And then I want you to think of all the things you're going to be this week. So all the things inside that you're going to be. And then I want you to think about all the things you're going to do one day soon, um, just like I've done. And then I want you to put them all inside your bottle, seal your bottle up, and then put it somewhere in your house that you can see it. Not under your bed, not chuck it behind the sofa, but put it somewhere where you can see it because it's a memory, isn't it? And it's just a little, a little prompt so that if you're feeling a bit cheesed off later in the week or you get a bit fed up, you've got something that's going to make you feel hopeful. And I can't wait. If you want to send me some pictures on Dojo, please do, of your bottles. I can't wait to see them. Turn the device off now. I've done loads of talking. Have a lovely afternoon and get busy.